You're rocking with Sir Quentin Best. Check it out now. Of the best entertainment. Shh. Shut up and hustle. Best of the best entertainment presents your feature presentation. What up, Milwaukee? Yo, 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 man. It's your boy, Sir Quentin, from Best of the Best Entertainment, where we keep our eyes and our ears open for local, global, up and coming and established artists. Today, we rock it out with my boy. Big baby, my time. Huh? Yeah. Big bag, man. baby. Yeah, man. It's up. Man, you introduce yourself, man. Formally, man. Let, I'm going to let you do it, man. All right. All right. I go by Baby Montana, a.k.a. Big Bag Baby. Look, I can't even say I'm the hottest in the city, but I'm the hottest around right now. Sheets, yeah. man. Sheets, man. So we see you going crazy, man. So, like, what's going on, man? What's going on, man? First of all, thank you for coming to the show, man. Oh, thank man. you for coming to the show. So, like, what's Long going on, man? Coming. What you got going on, man? We see you shoot, shoot with uh, with Lou, what he do. We see you fucking with Star Status, man. We see, like, we see everything, man. So, go ahead, bust it down, man. What's going down? Everything public, man. I really can't. Really can't go too too much in detail about everything that's going on, cause I really don't know what's going on. My manager take care of everything. <laughs> I just do the music, <laughs> take care of the business. That's like you know. That's when you know you you reach that level. You know what I'm saying? Like you got man, talk to my manager, man. But man you know, like, shit, he got me on that level. I ain't I ain't do it by myself. Facts, facts. When facts, I try facts. to do it by myself, it ain't work out. Facts, facts, man. Facts. I scouted him. I facts. ain't uh he ain't scout me. I scouted him. Like, he so said you, got, he was watching. you got this album just dropped too. Bro. Yeah, sacrilegious. sacrilegious man. Yeah. So like, let's, let's touch on this album, man. It wasn't even uh, it wasn't even supposed to go like that. But we always need a second opinion. Uh, at first it was supposed to just be two mixtapes. Uh, I think if the feds ask, I'm just a rapper. And uh. Something else. What? Oh, oh, fuck the industry. Fuck the industry. And if the feds ask, I'm just a rapper. Uh, I sent all the music over to my manager. And then he like, no, no, no. We just going to drop something else. And I'm like, all right. So we took songs on both of those. And we had to come up with a new name. The name came from, um, from my guy, London. Shout out to him, free him. He man, he had his head on straight, but he one of the first niggas I was in jail with that was like, you cold when I ain't think I was cold. He like, you just keep going, you gonna get there. And I'm like, nah, I ain't never gonna get there. But I ended up writing like a thousand songs. Never dropped none of them. But I ended up writing like a thousand songs. It took me like six years to reconnect with him, but once we reconnected, we locked in. And once I figured out he went to jail, he had a song called Sacrilegious that I'd never get out of my head. So I'm like, you know what? Since they got him right now, I'ma just go ahead and name this Sacrilegious in honor of him. She, 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 she's man. All right, so how many songs off this album did you uh, do a, shoot a video with? Uh, with uh, with Lou, I think all of them. Facts. Yeah, I got I got them all. Like we slowly dropping them, but I got I got all. I think all of them. Man, the man working, man. Like you you keep you keep working, man, and it's crazy, man. So uh, like all right, so I I'm pretty sure like all the fans, everybody want to know the thing that's on your head, man. Like so, like how. Cause like the he got here, bro. I thought I thought Phelps was bald here. <laughs> you got here, you rock the ball here, and you rocking this, folks. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. dog, like uh, going crazy, man. So like, if you if you would get that on your head, bro, what would you call it, man? This uh, this a turban. This a turban. Yeah, this a turban. Yeah, this a regular that's turban. Crazy. Uh, I can't even remember. I think my sister put me on them. She had it one day, and I'm just like, I like that. Let me wear that. And All right. I stole, I stole hers. And then I'm like, man, fuck that. I got to buy every color so it could be for every outfit. Right. And I got one for every outfit for every day of the week. Right. Shit, motherfuckers see me with the black one on. I got like 10 black ones. 
I don't never really wear that. <laughs> facts, facts. All right, so all right, <clears throat> you got the Wi-Fi, so yeah, I can go live. Yeah. Uh, so I can go live. Yeah, yeah let's do it. Lord. So, um, <clears throat> all right, so we're gonna touch on, uh, we're gonna dig a little deep. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. like we see what's going on with uh with your life. You you know you're a social media freak, man. So, love music. Just, just just differentiate the, differentiate those two. How do you balance those like love and music? You talking about actual love, like yeah, like, like love, shit. like this. How do you balance those two? I ain't gonna and lie, be one hundred. You can't even balance it because I I love music and I love who I'm with right now, but still being in the streets. You can't, uh, you can't balance those. Like, it's so hard because a motherfucker, a motherfucker look at it like, damn, where my time at? You put more time in the music. And I'm like, shit, I'm doing it for us. I ain't, if I chill or take a day off, shit, that could have been my day I made it. So I don't take no days off. And I have to, shit, I got to deal with that shit at the crib. How do you balance it though? I don't. I, I don't. It ain't. It's imbalanced. I can't balance it. It ain't. It ain't something that just happened. Like it's. It's like. Uh, it's. It's the hardest shit that I gotta deal with right now. Time, but I gotta get in the studio because I drop music every day. I I can go sit and make a song every day or make two three songs every day. That's why they all sound different. Like I sit there and. and just like I go live doing it sometimes, and then like I like the song, uh, the video I just shot yesterday with Lou. Shit, I did that song the day before. Right. In like ten minutes, I did it on live, and shit, I sent it to my manager. He said, "Yeah, drop." He said, "We gonna shoot this video." I'm like, "All right, I'm gonna shoot the video tomorrow," and I ended up shooting it yesterday. And so that video that was uh, blackout. It ain't uh. It ain't out yet. I'm Let's sure. Let's talk about that video. What you was doing in that video? Shit, nothing too major because I ain't got, I ain't really got a, I don't really be having motherfuckers around. Right. So everything I do solo, it's just like this. It's just like a, a extra, extra. So I'm just solo. I danced a little bit in the motherfucker. Right, right. All right. Man. So, all right. So, man, in case y'all just tuning in, man. Uh, we rocking with your boy, Baby Montana, man. We're going to take a little commercial break, man. Y'all make sure y'all tune in, man. Yeah. Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up and hustle. I tell them my certain shut up and hustle. Yeah. Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up and hustle. I tell them my certain bitch, shut up and hustle. Yeah. Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Yo, yo, man. So, yeah, we coming back from commercial break, man. We tapping in with your boy, Baby Montana, man. Uh -huh. Yeah, man. Man, the kid going crazy, man. Cameraman, Thanks, man. man. Shout out to your cameraman. Man, shout out to Lou, what it do. Uh, I got Ocean on the team and uh, LA go get her. Man, shout out to your team too, man. Cause you, man, man cause shout you know, out to we, we, we locked in. Man. Yeah, yeah. We, shout out to MB4L, 5050 50 dope, baby. Man, you know, it is what it is. My brothers for life. Facts, facts, man. So, man, shout out your team, man. Like, shout like, what's what you got going on other than that, man? Oh, like, you know, we just put the two studios in uh in my guy basement, Doty. We just put we just put two studios in his basement, so we could just constantly work. Like, we real life be recording. Shout out, Doty, man. What I up, boy? Sure, I made sure them niggas don't don't write no more. Don't nobody write no more. <laughs> <laughs> so, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so on that, not write no more shit, bro. You ain't even got to go into a studio no more because this man got a mobile studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm finna, uh, I'm, finna, uh, I'm finna start pulling up to hoods and taking the kids that be, that want to rap and I'm going to bring them in the car and let them record and send it to them so they can. They you can. lying, bro. Stop lying on live, bro. You already did that because we already done went live recording somebody. Yeah, that was, them was my nephews. Yeah. And they, shit, I ain't gonna lie. The age they is right now, nine to 10, they, they colder than what, what we was at their age. I wasn't even, I was trying to do music at that age, but they just did a whole song. Yeah. 
that I'm like, oh no, I gotta yeah, get on this. That shit hey, so look, cold, I'm like, man. I'm like, I gotta get on this. I don't know what <laughs> hey, y'all might as well leave a verse open for me. <laughs> so me and Dodi, me and Dodi jumped on it just to uh, you know show homies like, man, these are kids. He, them his kids. Both of them is his kids. Man, this is a crazy bro. Like, cause man, listen, man. This this man, man. Y'all y'all tap in, man. Tell them where to find you at. Uh, you can <clears> find <throat> me everywhere, all platforms, all social media. Uh, Big Baby Montana on all platforms. It's Baby Montana on Facebook. You can follow my fan page or you can follow me on my real page. Nine times out of ten, I'm not going to respond on my real page. But if you hit me on the Baby Montana fan page, I get back to you. Line up features, line up shows. I do meet and greets. I do everything. That part, and bro. I ain't, so I if ain't you bougie, I, I I like doing free features as long as the song code or you got a cold beat, cause I can work with it. I ain't you ain't even gotta be the best. I can I can turn you into into what you need to be. Y'all heard him. So uh, if you could collab with anybody right now, man, look. It seemed like it's easy, but shit, I've been trying to collab with Destiny Lane for the longest. That's my question right now, bro. That's my question right now. Bro. Read like that, bro. Read that, bro. That's my last question. I see you, man. <laughs> That's my question. That's my yeah. question. Collab uh, with Destiny Lane. That's my listen, question, Mark. Listen, I'm trying my best to collab with Destiny, but it ain't like it ain't like I can't do it. It ain't like I gotta pay. It's the it's the time difference because I be in the streets when she in the studio. So shout out D Lane, man. Some, what up? Yeah, shout out to Destiny, man. But it's like our time difference, and then I rap so different. I really I I want to be in there when I do a feature with somebody. I accept when somebody send me a send me a feature you can you can always send me something and i'll jump on it I, i'll get it back to you in like five minutes i didn't did it anybody that's on my live anybody that's watching that i did a feature with tell them how long it took me it it took me five minutes and I, i'm spazzing and i don't write none of it i just go in i'll be like all right i listen to it like two times and i just go yeah i just do straight punching uh but with destiny I want to actually sit in the studio, turn on the beat, and just vibe. That's with anybody, though. Like anybody that pay for a feature, I ain't. Like I get paid features, but I ain't the type where you could just send me a song. Like, you send me a song, I'm going to be like, shit, when you want to get in the studio? Yeah, fact. Because I want to, I, shit. Hey, I think, I think, said. I think, I think, I think. I think that gotta happen. That that's definitely gotta happen, man. And we talking and we about gonna, we gonna uh, document a, that, a crazy gonna, ass um, performance in the showcase where it's in Cincinnati, and D. Lynn know what's going on, Cairo know what's going on, your manager know what's going on, and uh, so we're gonna talk about that, man. After we come from this commercial break, man, y'all tap in. I don't even know what's going on. You Shit. gonna know what's going on? We come <laughs> back, man. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up and hustle. I tell him, my sir, bitch, shut up and hustle. Yeah. yeah. Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up and hustle. I tell him my sir, bitch, shut up and hustle. Yeah. yeah. Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Yo, man, in case you just tap it back in, man. You want your boy, Big Baby. Hit your flex, bro. Hit your flex, bro. <laughs> Big Baby, my talent, man. Uh -huh. Yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, man. So, um, it's best of the best entertainment, man. We're working out with your boy, Sir Quentin, pops. man. So, get your last minute shout outs, man. Man, it ain't no last minute shout outs, forever shout outs, man. Shout out to Dodi KN, Free Tape Money, Free Shiny. Shout out to my pops because he put me in this. Man, shout out to my mom. She raised me. She she made me who I am. Man, without without my mom and my pops, like, it don't matter what, what I've been through and what I did because they raised me the right way. I just turned into a street nigga. They ain't do nothing wrong. But. It's like, shit. I felt that's what was best for me to be in the streets. And I don't even like it. The street life ain't even. It ain't all what it's cracked up to be. You take too many hits, too many losses. Shit, you lose too many people. That shit ain't what it is. 
It ain't nothing wrong with working, shit. I need a job, but ain't nothing wrong with working, but I'm too strong-minded to really work for somebody else when I can make the same money in the streets or the same money being an entrepreneur. I ain't even saying I gotta be in the streets doing something. I'm an entrepreneur, so if I see some money, I'ma go get it, regardless of what it is. I go cut lawns, I go shovel snow, I do anything, but I guarantee you, I'ma make the same shit, probably double for what I made working for somebody. That's why it, in these slow days and it's good days, yeah, facts. you facts. just gotta grind through it. I grind through it. Yeah, facts. So uh, we're gonna drop some words, bro. And it's funny that you said that. Hustle. What does that mean? Shit, really waking up and doing what it take. You gotta do what you gotta do. Ain't nobody gonna take care of you, especially when you grown. I'm finna be 30. Ain't nobody gonna take care of me. I done asked, I done asked people, like, hey, I'm chasing my dream. Can you help me? They just look at me like, man, you grown. I so everybody, and I'm the type, I don't even broadcast it. I don't, I don't, I really don't speak on it. I do my giveaways and everything, but lately, all them kids that been selling waters on the corner and Gatorades and chips, when I see them and I see them out there for a week straight, I go and take them merch. Like, I, all right, y'all selling waters, Gatorades and chips. I go buy it, take it to them, and give it to them. And I, don't even, I won't even tell them not my name. Bro, what hood you was raised in, bro? I was raised in so many hoods. <laughs> All right, so the next word, I don't even want to, I don't even want to hear it, bro. Dang. So the next word is friendship. Friendship is equal to loyalty. So it ain't even about being friends because I don't even got friends. I got brothers and sisters. I don't got friends. I don't want friends. Friends don't shit. They don't do shit for you. But your brothers and your sisters do. It's either you got a big brother that that's guiding you or you got a little brother that you got to lead. So you either going to be a leader or a follower. And shit, <clears throat> I choose to be a leader. Copy so that. I ain't got friends. I got, I got brothers. I got bonds. Okay. All right, and the last word that we're gonna leave off with, music. Shit, the best at it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the on. Best, the best of the best, man. <laughs> Hold on, man, you can't use that, bro. I gotta, yeah, you gotta, you gotta pay me for that, best, man. man. <laughs> you gotta pay me for that, bro. All right. best he got, of the he best got a trademark. E -T -T when I say this man been doing this shit so long, I remember when he had a whole black beard. Now he got he got grays in his beard now. Nice. He, yeah. Nice. For real. I remember like man when I say this man so so pure. I ain't never heard nobody saying he did him wrong. And he never did me wrong. That's why he the best of the best and you stand on that. What does that mean to you though? Bro? What does that mean to you? The best music. The best. No, music. What? Music. music. All right, yeah. music. music. Yeah. Music is peace. Yeah, we got to take your shot. You got to take your shot. Yeah. You got to toast up again. You held that shit too long. Music is peace. Like Jeez. it, it, Jeez. it, Jeez. it make you, Jeez. it make you feel some type of way. Like, honestly, music can make you want to kill. <laughs> music Jeez. can make you, music can make you want to dance. Music can make you want to be better than who you is. It can, it can make you. I didn't even know. It can, to do it it can change energy. your life. Yeah, like music yeah. can change your life. Like you can hear somebody's song and and be like, "Damn, I want to be like them." And then you see videos of how they act in public behind the scenes, and you like, "Damn, yeah, I really want to be like them." It speak to you, like it. Even though I'm rapping, like a lot of people been through what I rap about. Cause I done been through it, even though it ain't the same way. People, real life, relate to my music and relate to what I've been through and relate to what I say. 
And it's like, bro, your music different though. Like, I'm just being honest. Like, I don't mean to cut you off, bro. Your music different. Like, you, you, hmm, hmm, shy, I talk, shy, I talk. <laughs> yeah, yo, shit, boy, shy, boy, talk, talk, true, boy, yo, shit, man, listen, man, man. listen. Like, so how does it relate to you, man? I need that. Pull it yeah, out. It, it, rela it relates to me because. I can only rap about what I go through. I can't rap about Ferraris and and, and, and Bentleys and shit like that because I ain't never, I ain't never did that. All right. All right. So shit. Facts, man. Look, man, we ain't putting dig too deep, man. Right now, we in the interview, man, with your boy Big Baby, Big Big, Big Baby Montana. You feel what I'm saying, bro? Man, the management by Titus Terrell, man, Trey G. Facts, man. The best thing interview ever do coming it. from uh, Destiny Glenn, man. You better tap in. You goddamn, you better tap in. And uh, all kind of gang shit, man. You Tell already me. know what time is going on, man. So yeah, man. It's your boy. Start quitting, man. You already know what time it is, man. We wrapping out with your boy, Big Baby Montana, man. Start quitting. That's the best, AE. Okay. Uh, you know what time it is. Shh. Shut up and hustle. Shut the fuck up and hustle. Yeah. You're rocking with Sir Quentin Best. Check it out now. Of the best entertainment. Shh. Shut up and hustle.